Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 30th, 2021. If you like support the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner and that would help this channel a lot. So we'll stop a look at the ARK Innovation ETF and as you can see, we're down nearly 3% today. And basically this is due to uh, Tesla falling nearly 3%, so down give or take uh, the same as uh, this ETF and at round minus 2.8, uh, 6 at this current stage. And we're finding basically support down here at the 150 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is turning around. It is becoming getting into negative territory and looks like it's going to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum, bearish momentum, I suppose to say. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. If we break below the 150 moving average, that could open the door to the 200, and that's a drop of 7% to the downside. And that basically means that we'll go and retest these previous lows. But 200 moving average, we didn't even get close to that the last two times, and uh, probably it's going to be the case um, here as well. If we bounce from here, then the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average up here at 131 will most likely be significant resistant. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has really taken off today. We are getting overstretched, significantly overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. We're at 119. Technical indicators otherwise are also turning around. We were in a long, basically trending uh, slowly to the upside, but MACD was uh, underneath the signal line for a really long time. But at the moment, it looks like it has turned around and it's going to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is bullish. But we are getting fairly overstretched here. The RSI as well is at 65, so there is not a lot of room to the upside. We could see a pullback before and going higher. So let's look at the VTI. So VTI as well uh, also bounced today. We fell and then we bounced and now we're approaching basically the top of the Bollinger Band and uh, usually that means that we'll have a pullback. We're also getting to the edge of being overbought. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish for the ZDF. So pullback from here will most likely find major support at the middle of the Bollinger Band. That's at 215. Otherwise, this is most likely going to target 220 or 225 in the, in the long run. So let's look at MCHI. So as you can see, we have uh, broken down quite aggressively. We went actually underneath the 100, uh, 150 moving average, and we also tested the 50 moving average. So we basically got up towards the 50 moving average and then basically broke down and then rallied a little bit at the end of the session. But as you can see, we got fairly ahead of ourselves and then it basically broke to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, the MACD is still in negative territory above the signal line. RSI is bullish, the CCI is uh, becoming bearish, and the stochastic is still in bullish territory, but it's crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum. If you break below the 150, that could open the door back down towards uh, the 200 moving average, which is down here at 80. So let's look at IVV. So IVV has also rallied up towards this, um, this uh, trend line. And now we're approaching the top of the bullish band and also the trend line. And usually that means that we'll find quite a lot of resistance. So uh, we can see last time we were there was right here. We basically broke down towards the middle of the bullish band and we could see something similar this time. You look at the uh, MACD, it is basically on the signal line. It's still in bullish territory. The CCI RSI is... Um, flat at this point, the CCI is bullish and the stochastic is also bullish. So rally up towards this line will also make this overstretched and we're approaching also overbought conditions. So pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, it's a drop of 2.2% give or take. That could be what will happen next here. If we break above this uh, trend line here, then we are going significantly higher. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button. Um, that will basically help us a lot. So uh, good luck and thank you very much.